Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The pain of chip shortage has deeply hurt the hearts of every Chinese. The lack of high-end lithography machines has made it difficult for China's chip industry to move forward in international competition. However, on March 25, 2025, the official announcement of the Chinese Academy of Sciences gave all Chinese people a shot in the arm. The self-developed all-solid-state deep ultraviolet DUV laser light source came out, and the breakthrough of 193 nanometer wavelength means that China has taken a key step on the road to breaking the ASML monopoly. This news exploded in the technology circle, and also made ASML sleepless all night. ASML of the Netherlands can be said to be one-handed in the field of chip manufacturing. It monopolizes the high-end lithography machine market, and almost all countries have to look at its face. However, on March 25, 2025, the Chinese Academy of Sciences announced the successful development of an all-solid-state deep ultraviolet DUV laser light source with a wavelength of 193 nanometers. This news exploded in the technology circle and also made ASML sleepless all night. This is no joke. It means that China has opened a gap in the field of chip manufacturing, which has been blocked by the West for a long time. This gap is enough to change the development direction of future lithography machines and even subvert the entire industry structure. The significance of this breakthrough is not only that China has its own DUV lithography machine light source, but also that the technical route it adopts is completely different. ASML's DUV lithography machine uses xenon fluoride eczema laser technology, while the Chinese Academy of Sciences has taken a different approach and achieved 193 nanometer wavelength DUV laser output using harmonic conversion and optical parameter amplification technology. It's like two roads can lead to Rome, one is a proven smooth road, and the other is a dangerous road full of unknowns. China chose the latter and finally got through. The benefits of the new solution are obvious, small size, easy integration, low energy consumption and environmental protection. In the current era of energy shortage and increasingly high environmental protection requirements, these advantages are very important. In addition to the breakthrough of DUV light source of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Harbin Institute of Technology, has also made progress in the field of EUV lithography. Although it is still in the laboratory stage, combined with the DUV light source of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, China's lithography technology is like walking on two legs, moving forward step by step. In theory, if the DUV light source can be put into the production line, the 3 nanometer chip manufacturing process can be realized. After the EUV technology matures, the chip process node can even be advanced to 2 nanometers, or even 1 nanometer. Of course, there is still a long way to go from the laboratory to the factory. Whether the research and development of key components, such as optical systems and lenses can keep up directly determines the practicality of the DUV light source. But this first step is enough to make people excited and it also makes those who once despised China's technological strength have to re-examine. In fact, lithography has long been a problem that has plagued the development of China's chip industry. ASML's monopoly and the United States' technological blockade have made Chinese companies subject to others in the field of high-end chip manufacturing. Companies like SMIC and Huawei, even if they have advanced chip design capabilities, cannot turn designs into products because they do not have advanced lithography machines. The breakthrough of DUV lithography light source of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has brought new hope to China's chip industry. If mass production can be achieved, China is expected to get rid of its dependence on imported high-end lithography machines and realize independent production of high-end chips. This will not only reshape the global semiconductor industry landscape, but also greatly enhance China's voice in the global science and technology competition. For ASML, 
The rise of China's lithography technology is a huge challenge. For many years, ASML has almost controlled the lifeline of the global semiconductor industry and made a lot of money by relying on its monopoly in the field of DUV and EUV lithography machines. The breakthrough of Chinese technology will break this monopoly and trigger a new round of market competition. Analysts have begun to predict that once China achieves self-sufficiency in high-end chips, the global semiconductor market will be reshuffled, the myth of ASML's money printing machine may come to an end, and the good days of Western countries relying on technological blockades to obtain excess profits will be gone forever. The impact of this technological breakthrough is far more than the semiconductor industry. Medical equipment, aerospace and other fields will benefit from it, such as higher precision laser surgery, lighter satellite optical components, and so on. The charm of technology lies in its infinite possibilities, and the breakthrough of China's lithography technology will undoubtedly open a new window for these possibilities. However, China still has many challenges to overcome in order to turn the results in the laboratory into products in the factory. The optical system needs to be further adjusted, and the manufacturing process needs to be continuously optimized to ensure the stability and reliability of the final product. In addition, the more than 20,000 patents owned by ASML also constitute an insurmountable barrier. China needs to explore a path of independent innovation on the premise of respecting intellectual property rights. Looking back on the development of China's lithography machine, it can be described as hard work. In the 1990s, chips were still an unattainable concept for China, let alone manufacturing lithography machines. At that time, there was not even a decent semiconductor factory in China, and the technological gap was so great that it was desperate. After 2010, the Wassenaar arrangement, led by the United States, included high-end lithography machines in the embargo list, further exacerbating the plight of China's chip industry. In 2019, ZTE and Huawei were successively sanctioned, and the crisis of chip supply cuts made the Chinese people deeply feel the pain of stuck neck. However, difficulties also inspired the Chinese people's fighting spirit. In the early years, Shanghai Microelectronics overcame many difficulties and developed a 90 nanometer lithography machine, laying the foundation for the start of China's lithography machine industry. Subsequently, scientific research institutions, such as the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Tsinghua University, joined the research and development team and made a series of breakthroughs in core components, such as light sources and optical systems. Although these achievements are still a certain distance from mass production, they represent the unremitting efforts and pursuit of Chinese scientific and technological workers. After 2020, the country will elevate the chip industry to a strategic level and increase support for funds, talents and policies. The close cooperation between industry, academia and research has gradually borne fruit. The breakthrough in DUV and EUV lithography technology is the best reward for years of hard work. From 90 nanometers to 3 nanometers, from complete dependence on imports to independent research, and development of light sources, China's lithography machine industry has gone through a difficult road. Behind this are the efforts of countless scientific researchers day and night, and the flowers of science and technology they have watered with wisdom and sweat. But it can be said that China's breakthrough in the field of lithography is not accidental, but the result of long-term accumulation and unremitting efforts. This is not the end but a new starting point. The road ahead is still long and the challenges are still arduous. The technological hegemony system that Western countries have built over hundreds of years is facing challenges from China. China chose to independently develop EUV lithography technology not to build new technological barriers, but to break the monopoly and to be more autonomous and controllable. From the development history of ASML, it took them more than 30 years to get to where they are today. China's lithography development still has a long way to go. 
Whether it can catch up from behind still needs time to test. The breakthrough of China's lithography technology is a display of China's scientific and technological strength. It declares to the world, China is working hard to control its own destiny and contribute its own strength in the wave of scientific and technological innovation.